Welcome, my name is Ryan Chapman with Fix Your Funnel, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Save First Incoming SMS field, which is a new feature we just added. Now if you are using keywords, you may wonder, why would you want to save the first incoming SMS? Well, if you've sent out a blast of SMS messages, you probably already understand. See, for each phone number you have a default conversation. This is a conversation that will happen if someone sends a text to your phone number without an existing keyword as the first text to send in. So imagine you send out a blast and somebody replies. Well, of course that message will be added to their contact record, but how will you know it came in so that you could address it? With the default campaign, it is not one of your keyword conversations. You can apply a tag or run a legacy follow-up sequence to initiate a task. But that also created another problem. And the problem was that the task would just notify someone of your staff to log into Infusionsoft and check the contact's notes. We had a few folks saying that it would be really, really cool if they could get an incoming message merged into the task record so that the incoming text could be addressed ASAP. So we recently rolled out the Save First Incoming Text Message. We thought some folks may want to have a single campaign on a phone number that wouldn't require any keyword at all. They could just tell someone to text their email address and they would get some sort of resource emailed to them immediately. Of course, it makes sense to continue the conversation with a confirmation that the email is queued up and ask, you know, like a follow-up question to further identify the prospect and their needs. But, so that's what we have. We have the, the save the first incoming text field. Here it is in the SMS conversation. It's part of the very beginning of the setup of a conversation because it's a, it's before anything else happens in the conversation. So here I've created a, a uh, field called Instant Notification 3, and I use this one to save an incoming text message to my number here, 6218199, and this is my default message. I use the keyword default on my default conversations just for my clarity. I know I'm not going to use the keyword default anywhere else, and uh, it allows me to quickly identify it. So here's the conversation. If you haven't been inside the conversation setup recently, this may look different to you. We recently updated this so that it was reflected better what actually is going on. So you see right here we have incoming text are in gray, your outgoing responses are in green, and then the application of a follow-up sequence, like adding a contact to a follow-up sequence or adding or applying a tag shows up in between. And this is where it actually happens. So when the first incoming message comes, I'm saving it to instant notification three. You see right here it says keyword. That's just in case that was your keyword, you would know that's where that's going. In the case of uh, not saving it or saving it, doesn't matter. And um, then in our case here, I'm applying a follow-up sequence to the contact, and I'm also adding a tag. This is so I have two ways to listen in and see if I have unexpected text messages coming in. In my conversation, I thank them for their text message and tell them when to get back to them, and I ask them for their name. And, just in case this person has never texted me before, I can be able to identify them and, and speak to them by name when I call them or email them. And then I ask for their email address on my next step, and then I say, okay, we'll be in touch. The way this works then is that very first message they send in gets saved into their contact record, and I merge that into a task. This is my follow-up sequence for unexpected SMS. You see it's relatively simple. I basically just have a task and in my task here um, I insert the contacts information so whatever information can be there. I know it already shows up above but I put it here anyway and then I have in quotation marks the SMS message. So here's my uh, instant notification 3 and then this will go to this particular one will go to Todd and then Todd will be able to respond to that but he has everything there he needs to be able to respond immediately. I could also create a saved search, so I could come in here and look for my tag that I was using in the campaign, and I can do a search. And here's my saved search. I can see then that Todd has asked a question, so I could do I could listen in basically, be either on the tag or wait for the task to go to somebody. But either way, now I've got this information available. If I come in here, I'll be able to look and see in, um, let's go ahead and look at his record. Um, so here we go, instant notification three. There's Todd's message that he sent in. 
you know, as always, if you need any help with SMS conversations, just text us your question to the number on the screen and we'll be in touch with you or just call us at the same number.